Hey guys, welcome back to um, Civilization, Nebuchadnezzar 2, Never, I love Never, of Babylon. This is episode 2, guys, so this is the second sitting, because that's how I record. I actually record my, uh, my Civ in episodes, and that means sittings, basically. So this is my second sitting. The first sitting, if you add up all the time, it was about 80 minutes. Um, this is pro I want to aim for this one to be about the same length. Um, so, getting right into it, guys. Um, this is the Empire as of turn 101. We are too unhappiness. We may want to invest in something like, uh, let's just check here. Let's open the queue. I hate how whenever you start, uh, you load a file, you always have to reopen the queues on all the cities and stuff. So, let's just see here. We may want to get the circus out on some of these places, um, to improve the happiness of the Empire. It'll only be nine turns. We're getting the market in six turns, so let's just add the circus in there, um, and that will be our next go-to place. Even though I do want to get the work boat out eventually, again I'm hopping right into the strategy. We're getting an oracle in eight turns. I really hope that doesn't get stolen. I'll be severely disappointed if it gets stolen. Um, let's just check Durakori Galzu. What did we just finish? I believe the granary. Um, again, the two unhappiness there, not the best. We can get the monument in four turns. Walls of Babylon. Now that we got, um, what do you call it? What gives you Walls of Babylon again? Let me check. Again, yeah, we have to open up the tech thing and everything. Um, uh, there you go. Masonry just gave us the Walls of Babylon. That will be very useful on Akkad and Babylon. Uh, make them very hard to actually take. And uh, let's see what we want to do here. We got the granary out. Um, there's one gold source, so the mint is kind of useful, but, you know, that production's a bit high. I don't want to do that quite yet. And, um, I'm looking at maybe the monument for now. We want to really just start spreading out into this forest area. And, uh, maybe some ocean tiles and eventually that fish. So, that's three units away. So, I believe cities extend for the most, uh, for the first part of the game is, I believe, three tiles away. So... That fish is within our reach, so let us just go ahead and get the monument. We'll be starting to uh, expand the culture and the border of that uh, Durakurigalzu area, and that'll be good. Um, I was actually thinking that um, this area right here, we don't really want to cut it down, because it honestly has a forest on it, and once we get the, um, the lumber mill technology, which we won't get for at least six turns... Um, I want to put a lumber mill in these areas to improve the production of this area. Um, so, honestly, what I was thinking of doing is, because this forest doesn't get cut down anyways, why not go ahead and send this worker over here to cut down that forest? This guy can... Um, what do we want to do with him? We finished, We beat off the Danish people in the uh, on Akkad's border. The Russians, we just beat off. So, the Russians are on the retreat. They might come back, so honestly, I may want to bring this bowman up, but I don't think I will, because just in case the Danish are planning a counterattack, I want to make sure we have a bowman in each city prepared to defend. So with this guy, you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring him back up to Akkad and start working on that farm, because we have we have not finished some of these farms, guys. That farm's not done. Um, these two farms don't exist yet. So honestly, Akkad needs a little a bit of a food boost. Let's give it to them. Babylon has so much food. Don't even get me started. Um... I think Durkari Galzu is fine with that, um, and these farms right here, it should be okay for now, I mean. And um, eventually, I believe we're expanding into that area. Yes, we are. 23 turns, though, that's not good. But with the monument, it's probably closer to about maybe 8 turns until we get that area. So that'll be good, guys, and uh, next turn. So that is my opening strategy. Um, that's basically just my plan for the near future. Looks like the Russians just ran away in the northeast. Um, you know, they can't beat us. You're not so we got iron working! Iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. So do we have any iron in the empire? Oh, there's one iron down there. Okay, we it's only two iron though. That's not all that much. There's a lot of iron up here. This makes this spot very favorable all of a sudden. Um, you got gold, stone, and iron. I mean, it's all completely in the desert. And there's really nothing in that region other than that stuff. But you know, it may be worth investing into later. Not now. I really can't afford to put a city if it's not going to have anything. Um, it will, it'll actually have fairly high production, but there'll be no food in that region. That's the problem. What I could do, possibly, is maybe move a city right up here. 
I mean, that would be a really good location for a city, possibly in the future, because it'll eventually expand into the wheat, and with the granary, that'll be, it'll fly up. It's got um, access to this gold mine, that iron, this mine right here. Um, well, it's a hill. We'll turn it into a mine. This hill, and um, honestly, with uh, with what do you call it? I'm trying to think right now. We got it with civil service. It's the ability of civil service. Um, some of these food tiles will shoot up, so it'll actually be a pretty good location. So that's an alternate option to putting a city right next to the Behringer Crater, which of course I still plan on doing because Behringer Crater is just sweet. So Dublin, what do they want to do? They want us to construct a road to Dublin. That probably won't happen. Sorry, Dublin. Um, and let's see here. Okay, so the Bowman actually just leveled up. They want us to choose a research, because we just finished iron working. Understandable. Heroic Epic. I'm just trying to think what we could build in the future if we do get the Oracle, which I hope we do. I want, I really want to get the Lumber Mill out. That'll improve the production of um, Babylon once it expands into this forest. And also, uh, Durkari Galzu, especially with all this forest right here that it will be getting in the near future. So let's get construction. I mean, it's very small. We can... I don't think we'll get the Great Wall. That probably won't happen. Somebody else will get it. Circus Maximus is going to help with our happiness. And especially that Colosseum. We want to get that Colosseum quite soon. Because we have a lot of gold and we can afford to build Colosseums um, with maintenance of one. But uh, our happiness is dropping a bit low for my tastes. And the growth of these cities is not happening right now because of the unhappiness. So let's get construction out. Um, and then this guy, let's give him open terrain. That is the best buff. Um, and, you know, we may want to bring him right here to finish off that warrior. Because he is, he'll come back fully healed eventually, if we're still at war in the future. And, yeah, we got him. So, good. We weakened the Russians by that many units. And we put this Bowman back in Akkad. That seems to be good. Um, this guy can start working on a farm, and he can chop down this forest now. Because exactly, that's what I mean. I mean, we're going to be putting a, uh, what do you call it, camp on that deer anyways. So let's just cut this down. And it'll improve our food there too because of the granary. So it's no worry. Uh, cut down the uh, forest early. We'll still get production from it. It'll actually boost this um, uh, monument or whatever comes after the monument. And that'll be pretty good. Pyramids have been built in a faraway land. Um, that's not that good. At least it's not the Oracle, because, again, I'm going to flip my crap if somebody builds the Oracle before us. Durkari Galsu demands gems. That's unfortunate. We don't have gems. Let's see here. Um, What are these guys doing? They're about to finish the horses. He's got chopping down. Okay, so all our workers are good. Um, archers are all in the right places. Let's bring them back to Babylon. And let's, let's just go forward, guys. I really... I really, really do hope we get this oracle. I will... Oh my god, please do not steal the oracle, because this has happened to me before. I've been three turns away from getting something, like a great monument, and then nothing happened. Okay, um, she wants everything. Um, you can go screw yourself. You know, that just means, whenever they, whenever they do that, they usually retreat and then they attack again. So I actually expect Catherine to attack again, just like, uh, the Danish guy did in the northwest. He backed off and then attacked again as soon as he saw that um, he had a chance, but that's not really going to happen, because I think after this oracle we're going to put a great wall on Babylon, well, not a great wall, sorry, um, the wall of Babylon, and that will really dramatically improve um, our defenses in Babylon, and there's really no chance, because it also improves our rock attack, meaning um, anything that comes close is going to get pounded by both the bowmen and the rock attack, so that's going to be cool. And clearing the forest just improved production by 13, uh, temporarily, just shot it up. So it's about probably two turns. Let's just check. Yeah, it's two turns worth of uh, Kuri Galzu's production. So that so yeah, we just got the monument a turn early. It's pretty good. And let's see here. What do we want to do? Um, we have many options in Dur Kuri Galzu. I think I want I think the best option for now is probably to get the library. Um, because isn't there something that requires us to have a library in every city. Let me double check on that. Isn't there? Um, it might be in education. 
You know, Oxford University requires you to have a university in every city, but what requires you to have a library in every city? I don't think anything. Oh, a national college does. We can build that. Um, must have a library in every city. Do we have a national college? I know we have the Great Library. I don't think we have the national college. It probably doesn't even open as an option until we get uh, a library in every city. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and build a library here. The walls of Battle aren't, aren't necessary, but it's nice to know they're only... They're really cheap. They're only 65. Um... So, in fact, we'll probably get Walls of Babylon and Babylon really soon. Let's get a library up there. Uh, do we have a library in Akkad? We have a library in Akkad, so this is the last place to not have a library. We cleared the forest there, and um, we can send this guy north. Probably send him up to finish some of these three farms that aren't done. Um, and then this guy, after he's done, I think I'm just going to send him east, because construction is going to finish in one turn. Actually, no, I'm going to leave him here. Uh, construction's finishing next turn. We can build a lumber mill here with this unit. This guy can come to this. This guy can keep working on these farms, because these farms need to finish. And that seems pretty good to me. Next turn. And Rush is probably going to advance right about now. All their units are just about to be finished healing. Um, and if I'm correct, this unit's going to get drawn in. Three they didn't do anything. In a building. That it stand on the right spot. That it be securely founded. That it be successfully executed. Well said. Okay, so we got the Coliseum. Um, our happiness is dropping a bit low for my tastes. So we want to start getting to work on Coliseum. Um, Coliseum Maximus, sorry, Circus Maximus, is going to be pretty cool once we have a Coliseum in every place. I really want to get the happiness buff so we can start expanding into different areas and definitely get that city on the Behringer Crater. And then maybe that one I was talking about right over here. Um, and... Oh yeah, it's just telling me what happiness does here, so that's silly. Um, and let us talk about our next uh, tech. What do we want to do for the next tech advancement? So this is going to get us to harbor. That would be pretty useful. But um, harbors are fairly expensive. Fishing boat yield improves gold by one. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that right now because... <sighs> I'm trying to think, because... I believe we already have something that'll improve the food yield once we put a fishing boat right there. And improving the gold yield will also be really good for our cod, so that might be a good option. But at the same time, these horsemen, you need to get that for education. I want to get education as soon as possible, because I, in fact, actually want to get both of these, the Porcelain Tower and the Oxford University. Um, the problem is it's hard to get both unless you stim there. Uh, I don't mean stim, but like... You, you get there as fast as physically possible. Workshop is also a really, really good option for your capital city and what other, uh, what other cities you want to do, um, want to work on. So, I'm trying to think. Um, I think metal casting may be the best option right now. At the same time, stable. You know what? This is only four turns. We're going with horseback riding. It's not going to take that long, and uh, it'll really help us out in the long run. So, you can start working on the lumber mill, five turns for that, and you can drag him over to work on this lumber mill. And next, turn it up. In fact, actually, this iron is in is in reach of Dur Corrigalsu once it expands that far. I mean, it's only three blocks away, so it could get there eventually. And wait, team. So let's drag him in here to work on the lumber mill on the next turn. That is finished, and he can go ahead and finish this one. I believe it's only one or two turns away from finishing the farm there. And social policy. Okay, so this increased happiness for each city you own connected, and minus five on happiness based on the citizens in non-occupied cities. So this actually may level us out and bring us to zero. Um, that's what I thought. We're at zero now, so we're back to normal growth in all the cities, and that is good for us. And we can choose a great person. Um, why can we choose a great person? I'm confused. Well, I'm not going to deny us a great person, so let's go ahead and get a... Oh, it might be because of that finishing... Oh, yeah, we finished the uh, Liberty Tree. So it gives us um, the option of a great person. Let's get the great scientist. This is so good. Um, and I don't think we want to use him quite yet. Is there anything expensive? 
Um, we can we could probably stim once we get horseback riding. We use him to stim to education. We don't have theology though, so that might be a problem. Um, and also, when are we getting our next great scientist in Babylon? He's already 50% done, um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, once we finish this oracle at the end of this turn, I don't think he can get stolen from us anymore. Um, I don't think oracles can finish on the same turn as someone else. So um, we finish that. We'll start. We'll get a new social policy the second that happens. Academy plus six science. That's pretty cool. But I think we're gonna just use it to stem to a a higher energy level, but not energy level. Um, that university is gonna be sweet. Um, 20 turns. We can just cut 20 turns off the ballot. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go horseback riding um, as soon as possible, and then theology, and then we're gonna save him until we can jump into education to guarantee us that porcelain tower and Oxford University, because that stuff's important. So let's drag him into Babylon for protection and put him to sleep for now. That looks good, guys. Um, next, turn it up! And he wants all our stuff, so when we deny him this, he's probably going to get mad. See, he's losing 10 gold a turn. He is not a rich fellow. Um, we're going to refuse him all our stuff again, because he is a brute and a tyrant, and he doesn't deserve anything. We do not negotiate with terrorists, good sir. It looks like the Russians are advancing on the east. I think we're fine right now. We have a bowman in each city. We are well protected. Ancient oracle said that I was the wisest of all the Greeks. It is because I alone of all the Greeks know that I know nothing. See, I love this guy. Socrates is a beast. Um, yes, got the oracle. He didn't get it stolen from us. We are scientifically ahead of everyone. And this social policy, I like to go into commerce, honestly, because it is good for expansive, uh, expansive empires. None of these are all that good in comparison. Um, for what we're doing, for example, uh, let's see here, aesthetics, this is like culture-based, this is culture-based, and this is militant-based. This is probably the best option. Um, commerce, what does it give us the second we get it? Um, doo -doo -doo. Adopting commerce will boost gold output in Capital City by 25%. So, you know, that's pretty good. I like that. The gold just went up from 9 to 11 uh, every turn, and um, that is pretty beast. Um, okay, so we finished the Oracle. We can get to work on the walls of Babylon to make this place invincible. Um, that's only five turns. That is well worth that time. The Great Wall, I don't think we're going to get the Great Wall, personally. Um, it's such a low-leveled thing that it's probably going to get stolen from us. Um, I, we could probably get to work on the National Epic um, to help the great scientist production in this city. Um, it'll really speed it up, especially with... Uh, the Babylonian advantage there, and we're probably not going to get Chishinitsa. But that, but that's a really good ability there. Like the Gold Age is increased by 50%. It's surprising how short the Golden Ages get towards the end of the game. Like uh, if you can, if you can go from 10 to 15, that's crazy. Or even like 9 to 14. So and four happiness there. Uh, let's just double check when the rest of these civs got. God, that technology, or if they have that technology. So it's with civil service, and that's pretty far along the line. Um, it's in this column. I think anything before this column, if we start researching it now, there's no way we're getting it. So there's a probability that we get Chichen Itza, but here, if we started if we started anything, it was a great wonder in this column, um, we're going to get it. But I'm not entirely sure, like, if going with the Hagia Sophia or Angkor Wat, if we ever did get theology, be a smart idea. Shishin Itza is a possibility though. And that's a really good bonus of four happiness. So um, we may want to look into it. In fact, um, I just don't want it to get stolen. National Epic, we already talked about how that's good. Well, also Babylon are better for the short term. I want to get the National Epic out though. And yeah, we need a library count in every city. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go with the National Epic, I think. I don't think we're ever going to get Chishin so I think that's going to get stolen from our feet. So, National Epic it is. Um, these guys can get working on a lumber mill. This guy can finish that farm. And on to the next turn.
Oof, this is good. Those Russians are probably going to advance right now. That's what I thought. Catherine entered the medieval era. That's not good for us. Great Wall was built. So yeah, you know, that was the other option we could have gone into. I said it was going to get taken. It did get taken. Um, Chichen Itza is probably halfway done somewhere else in the world. And as you guys know, you can only have one of every great wonder, except the national wonders, like the, uh, the Great Epic and the Great Library. Um, I'll show you the list, actually. It's right here. Where are you? Don't hide from me. They are... Where are they? Medieval era, classic... Oh, they should be under... Oh, these are buildings. My bad. You want to go to Wonders. Where are the Wonders? Do, do, do. Wonders. So you have the Wonders and you have National Wonders that everyone can build a copy of. And that includes stuff like...